Hey girl. My beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Leo, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, darling, because that is how we keep up with you guys is through the comments, Leo. Also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video, Leo, a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot. And I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step, Leo to provide that for me now i guess you're all getting too okay. now <laughs> leo be sure to rely on your intuition when it comes to these readings of course right because put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than i ever possibly could leo so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i believe the tarot cards are just here leo to give you some food for thought perspective for you to consider but never making any choices in your life leo because it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards and so with all that being said leo let's jump into your tarot reading today and as i said leo y'all got two cards for uh getting an overall energy feel for what's to expect this week so we'll start off the first one uh this is the, the panther spirit number 44 equaling to eight for numerology uh leo so write that down and the panther spirit says reclaiming your power Ooh, what a powerful message right off the bat don't you think um, I just got the message of some of you Leos may associate deeply with the panther spirit. You may consider that your totem. If you do, you probably have recently had the panther spirit step forward for you in the last couple of weeks, I would say. Whether it's through dreams, well, I would hope it's through dreams. If you're experiencing a panther right in front of your face, honey, I'm glad you made it out, okay? But <laughs> maybe through online shows, maybe you've been seeing panther videos recently. Leo, I do feel like the panther has shown up in some way. Um, also, the rhino spirit, number five in numerology, uh, 50 uh, is the actual number. This card says, overcoming any obstacle. Ooh, what a powerful message when you think about it, Leo, because reclaiming your power and then overcoming your obstacles while you reclaim that power is that your obstacle obstacle this week leo my obstacle apparently is trying to speak properly honey but for y'all it seems to be a situation of where um something that's been keeping you blocked for a while that i'm feeling as well just because i saw the number two for that's why i said two weeks so maybe you guys been dealing with this for a couple of months or so so re let's get into this a little bit deeper now leo let's see what more we can get out of these cards right what are you reclaiming your power about first of all right that's what i want to start with the card that stepped forward already is the empress card libra card uh this card is hmm. i like this dynamic just because i mean not just because it's a libra card honey and i'm a libra uh, leo but the empress card i always say is like that character building card because not only are you trying to uh what's the word i'm trying to say not only are you trying to create and give birth to something big right that's why the empress comes in as showing as being pregnant right because you're trying to create something big and you know this also does come in as a sign of fertility especially when it comes to reclaiming your power so definitely this sense i really do i never really speak in that type of message uh leo just because i know fertility can be a sensitive subject for most and i just don't feel as if it's kind of appropriate for me to be speaking about that so casually in a general reading but this i can't help but acknowledge this i suppose right especially with overcoming any obstacles some of you leos may have been trying to get pregnant for a while i want to just leave it at that right um but also with the empress card the empress card is the situation where she's not having anxiety gender obviously doesn't matter i'm just speaking in terms of this perspective of this individual here in the artwork we own but they don't have this uh, insecurity or in themselves, right? They know that they're going to be able to manage themselves, take care of themselves, and handle whatever is there to go, go after them, right? We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse here now. So reclaiming your power in the Empress card, when you have this card, this is where I'm just like, okay, you know, why is this card here? Where are you not learning about? The Chariot in the reverse. So You've been dealing with this blockage for a while, uh, Leo. And I don't know if this is a situation of where it's almost as if like the inconveniences that you've been experiencing with this obstacle, you've been struggling with this for a while just because of, 
I also want to just say it's almost the sense here where you almost have just repeated the same cycle but I want to speak almost out of pocket Leo where it's like this is all under like a false pretense or like um a false impression and what I mean by this it feels almost as if like um you were either told uh given like a wrong perspective misinformation or something like i feel like you were just functioning leo off of a narrative that wasn't true now whether you created that narrative or not or whether it's from some si sort of outside source uh, i don't know right that's kind of up for you to decide you'll obviously know if you your own anxiety and your own fears uh leo uh fed into this at all firstly um but if this it doesn't involve another energy where your work functioning off of mis misinformation given to you check i want to say you don't know the full picture with something leo check and make sure that you um aren't repeating certain cycles uh king of wands in the reverse now leo this is normally your card right and it still is technically your card because you see that little lion tab back in if you want to see the lion leo in the back standing in the back watching king of wands and inverted shows to me you've been feeling powerless in some type of situation for some time now you haven't been feeling like yourself leo and it's because you haven't been feeling like yourself um you haven't been having any forward progression which is why that chariot card steps forward to you inverted as well as the eight of pentacles inverted because it does seem to be like something that has just keeps in disempowering you i feel so let's get a little bit more information now will you talk about you reclaiming your power from somewhere where you just really haven't been feeling like yourself leo let's see what this obstacle is all about honey we have the five of swords inverted for you the obstacle is definitely some type of bird in your ear some type, something in your ear and just kind of feeding some type of doubt i really do feel like you're giving being given some type of weird misinformation you know i never usually subscribe to this kind of narrative like dr drama ish stuff but i do feel like you need to watch be aware and watch out for the information being presented to you leo now i'm not saying it's like a malintent situation because i'm not seeing that with these cards they're not reflecting that whatsoever uh leo but i am being seen like you could be given some just wrong information um you know and whatever what have you the world card coming in here hmm why the world card six of cups in the reverse coming in here so this is almost like a situation of someone that you've known for a long time in your life uh leo giving you some bad advice you know let me use an example it's like we may not all have that friend but you know the there's like this example of where it's just like you someone has like this really this friend who always has just been single because they just hate all men they hate all women they hate love right they're just very much so cynical about life and cynical about love because they had their bad experience and just left such a bad taste in their mouth honey right and so anytime you ask them for advice or you start talking about your love life right you you already kind of know the narrative that you're going to be hearing right so i'm sabotaging you from finding love because of their own issues and i feel like that's kind of what's happening here it's almost as if like you might have some bad influences or rather i don't want to say bad right it just feels like you don't have some influences in your life that are necessarily enabling you to do all the most lovely things leo and i feel like it's partially because they only have this level of access to you just because like they've hold some type of personal significance you've been in they've been in your life for a long time and it shows that with the world card uh leo and the six of cups shows in the sense of just again this history but because it's inverted it's showing to me it's just kind of like that time is up um similar a little bit because i know aries recently also is dealing with something from the past but they're really really looking into so i don't think it's related to you uh leo but it's just interesting page of pentacles coming in here why the page of pentacles the high priestess in the reverse and then the devil card coming in here so you've tried to talk it out leo you've tried to talk and speak about the elephants in the room but it seems to be like it's to no avail um no matter how many times you give it this situation chances for second third fourth 20th times right it seems almost as if like you could like it's almost like a message leo where you kind of have to accept that 
you can't change somebody, right? They have to be wanting to change themselves. They have to be able to also see it from their own perspective, right? Just because you see an issue or you see something going on from your level doesn't mean this person down here is going to be able to see, like, they're not going to see it from that same level, right? What's true, there's a, there's a saying here, Leo, and I wish I could remember the exact thing, but it's just like, if you and somebody else were to look out the window, right? You're six foot two, Leo, right? What you're going to be seeing is going to be something completely different compared to the person who's looking out a window that's five foot two, right? You could be looking in the same direction, but because of y'all's per perspective where you're all's positioning, it's going to look like entirely different things, right? There's a quote that actually like represents it so much more beautifully, uh, admittedly, uh, Leo, than that, but remember and just remind to yourself that you can't make someone change if they're just not ready leo remember that so now enough of that heaviness darling leo let's get into some of the well actually we have to get into some more heaviness actually spirit just reminded me we still have to do your spirit uh guide messages leo this is where the tough love really comes in you think i'm bad leo try your guides are trying to really bring forth the messages to really push you in your life this is where your feelings are not spared leo that is for sure so you guys got the hummingbird spirit be here now number 34 in numerology equaling to seven rather in numerology so be here now asking you to be present leo and so when you're having this as your sign from your spirit guides there's definitely a reason for you to be paying attention to what's going on in your current space right now Leo. so let's get some more cards and with this you may have been seeing hummingbirds i know this is the hummingbird season right now for a lot of people where hummingbirds are out and about. You may be seeing hummingbirds recently. Um, Leo, let's get some more cards now. We have the Justice card, the Libra card again. You may have, you may be dealing with the Libra or you have Libra in your chart. If you do, I suggest checking out the Libra reading, Leo. But um, Justice card coming here. So you have Justice coming in. You have things coming into balance, truth coming to light. Uh, coming in so that's why you're being asked to be present so, because something's about to be revealed to you I won't be surprised if we see the moon card Leo we have the three of pentacles coming in so in terms of contracts in terms of partnerships Leo uh, something's something's boiling up something's about to be happening in terms of my Leos that are in partnerships or something some type of collaborative energy we have the six of wands but it's a good thing right they're asking you to be spirits asking you to be here right now because they're putting a spotlight on you yeah this is the card of victory this is the card of public recognition leo this is a beautiful card to be having so definitely be some of y'all may be getting some more uh traction this week more notice in your life and that's why you you want to be here now because you might be experiencing some contracts stepping forward to you in your way if you are in some partnerships leo then you i do see your partnerships thriving if you are not in partnerships leo then i do see some partnerships coming in whether it's for financial gain whether it's for personal as well right there's regardless of the message or rather regardless of where it's at in your life leo there's something really good good news is really on the horizon and that's why spirit's asking you to pay attention right now final card we have the seven of pentacles this would be something that you've already invested a lot of energy into leo so whatever it is that you've been investing and working hard at and really working at diligently you're about to get your pace like that you're about to be paid for your work essentially right um you're finally about to be reminded as to why you've been working so hard in the first place because this is what you've been working so hard to get to this moment for yeah some of y'all are really experiencing a very big um life changes in a positive way leo so now darling i mean i think that's a pretty like good message actually best one i've seen for a spirit guide um, best hero message for sure for spirit guides my leos so now let's talk about the more good things since we didn't get enough of that from your spirit guide messages just remember to be present leo you have 62 for the total spirit equaling to eight so write that down leo this card says slow and steady wins the race which i feel like you already know this just because of the seven of pentacles so i feel like you're going to be reminded of it again if you've been working on some long projects um some yeah just something that's been time consuming seven of pentacles six of wands i want to remind you of uh leo where it's like it's gonna pay off soon right slow and steady wins the race though right don't rush things 
Uh, you know, let's take a deeper look with this card. We have the Ten of Swords coming in here. So cycles closing. So almost like the more that you progress down this path, something, the more like, I feel like it's like each day that you have like a good harvest, each harvest day that happens for you, Leo, something gets healed inside. Like it feels like you are about to be experiencing a Leo that's going to be like turning the notch up to like a thousand almost. Um, and I really am happy about that because it's almost like some old wounds, some old, old scars finally coming to a close. Uh, it's the Sun card coming in in the reverse. So this is confirming to me, Leo, you guys have definitely been in a struggle for a while. And I know for a lot of you, Leos, you've been having a lot of personal drama, especially involving a person. And I feel like this personal drama is finally coming to a completion. Um, you know, the Sun's definitely um, starting to look up for you. Page of Wands confirms this, right? Page of Wands is that fresh start card, Leo, going into something completely new. Also, Leo, if you hear a cat, I apologize, darling. You know how cats are, honey, right? So definitely going, a new start is going to be coming, right? And you've been going through a very dark period, right? A period of darkness, and now it's going to be shifting. Knight of Wands as well, coming for you. Leo, so definitely a positive message. And once this light starts shining, it's just going to be full blades, full speed ahead for you, Leo. I'm really excited for that uh, for you because it seems like you really needed it. It seems like you really needed some sunshine shining in your life, some positivity. Um, so I'm happy for you, Leo. Now, darling, Leo, let's get into your social situations this week. This could be romantic or this could be platonic, right, Leo? This could be a work situation. This could be a relationship. This could be a marriage. This could be family. This could be anything that you know your situation, Leo. So you get the unicorn card. This card says, indulge your creative, imaginative, imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression, Leo. So definitely this is a card of Allah asking you to make yourself stand out even more, Leo. Get yourself noticed, I feel, is this message coming in for you as the unicorn for this social situation. I feel like this is a situation where you need to find someone that actually uh, appreciates your uniqueness. And I feel like there's a person presented to you in this week that could really be perceptive of this, right? And I feel like you kind of have a sneaking suspicion, Leo, that this is going to bleed into your financial career as well, especially considering where I was talking about that Six of Wands and that Three of Pentacles coming in for you, Leo. So then we have the Magician card coming forward and then Verded and the Fool card coming in here. So this is kind of like a weird message where it's almost like a chapter ends where it kind of like fizzled out. Maybe you have like a bad project, uh, Leo. And I say bad project, like... <laughs> <laughs> I guess my dismissal of humans in this way kind of makes shows a representation of how checked out you kind of been with some, so many disappointments in your life. Um, but it's almost like right after you experience like kind of like in a disappointment with someone that you really try to make it work with, Leo, with this magician card inverted, the fool card steps in where it's a new chapter quickly presents itself to you. And I feel like it's only naturally happening like this because of the unicorn card, unicorn card where you get noticed and you make it a strong point, Leo, to get noticed to get seen right by the right people that's this is where you really want to express your artistic original um authentic side of yourself so that way the per like your people get your like your people will know right you want to attract your people the only way you attract your people leo is by being yourself right so then you have the four of wands coming in here beautiful 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 nine of wands coming in as well inverted for you so this is the insecurity uh leo this is where it's just like you know where you need to go in the long run but you just have this insecurity of like really opening up to the right people and i feel like this is just one of those things where it's like a trial and trial and error sort of situation leo where it's just like all right you know this person didn't work out over here take this as a sign that you need to work even more leo at being more vulnerable and more authentic so you attract the right people right take that as a sign of where she's like oh just need to be more open so you know the right people are attracted to you rather than people who are lame right so now, Leo, let's get into your financial and career this week. I feel like it's going to be juicy just based off of your daily, uh, not your daily, your weekly or general portion of your reading, Leo. Let's take a look at what's going on for your financial and career this week. 
we have the mouse card. You're overlooking some important details, so pay closer to attention to what's going on. Again, this is, I feel like you, this, what's, you're missing here is like, like some type of connection that could be happening for you, Leo. I truly feel that for you. So let's take a dive deep. <laughs> let's take a, Leo, my gosh, why can't I speak? Let's take a deeper dive into this. That should not have been so hard to say, darling. Three of Cups coming, coming in, confirming this. Okay, Leo, I'm right. Three of Cups, you, I mean, you tab back in, Leo, so you can see the artwork. You can believe, see it as believing, honey. Three of Cups represents, is the card of victory, but it also includes other energies. Remembering how I was talking about that Three of Pentacles, three, three, come on now, darling, come on now. This is what you're overlooking, connections, really, truly. Um, Queen of Swords, this is the energy you've been in. You don't want to keep yourself walled off, right? It's good to protect your heart, Leo. It's good to protect yourself, but at the same time, know when to put your guard down. Know when to lay the weapon down and to let someone in. Know when to lay, open up the gate, right? We have the Seven of Swords, because you've been super untrusting, when it, especially when it comes to the Queen of Wands, showing your flame to others, showing your passions to others, showing your game plan to others, because uh, whatever your reasoning is, whether it's like you're too shy and you just don't feel like you feel it maybe I'm hearing advantage or you're worried about people taking advantage of you, Leo, right? Nine of Pentacles getting in your head, trying to stop you from your hustle. You, Leo's definitely are very much so a lone wolf energy that I'm honing in on, I feel. And so I feel like it's one of those things where you feel like you can't trust anyone else's work, so you might as well do it yourself, Leo. That's something what I'm getting. And yeah, it's kind of like, I'm not going to push the message any harder, Leo, because you're either going to listen or... or excuse me, or you're not, right? I feel like you get the point, but I feel like it would be extremely in your benefit if you were to make it a point to network this week, Leo. So now let's close off your reading, Leo, with a positive affirmation card, a quote card, if you will, darling, to see uh, what message that you can take with you, Leo, throughout the rest of your week, honey. Let's see what's going on. What positive affirmation is waiting for my Leos? Hmm. This card, the dra it's the dragonfly. Uh, this card says, I always, I always trust the direction, Leo, of the universe and know I'm being guided. I'm gonna read it again. I always trust the direction of the universe and know that I'm being guided. So Leo, this is kind of one of those things of just letting go and letting God, trusting the process, right? I feel like this card's pretty self-explanatory and y'all are some smart cookies, right? Y'all know how to digest this. So take this quote, take this positive affirmation with you, Leo, for the rest of this week, one more time. I always trust the direction of the universe and know that I'm being guided. All right, my beautiful Leos, that is, the read that is the weekly reading that I have for you this week. Hopefully you enjoyed this tarot reading. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Also, Leo, if you would like to book a private personal reading with me, my website is Simply Velka. I have a link down below along with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything is just Simply Velka. And Leo, I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Uh, if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, darling, send them their Zodiac video and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, Leo, I love you so much.